January 12th, 1969, Super Bowl III. Perhaps the most important game in the history of the NFL. The first two Super Bowls were blowouts. The Packers winning easily. The Colts were expected to do the same as they walked into the game 18-point favorites. But Joe Neiman guaranteed victory for the Jets. Piqued someone's interest. And all of a sudden, we had our biggest upset in history of professional football as the Jets won 16-7, beating the heavily favored Baltimore Colts. The game helped make the Super Bowl into the big game today. It helped complete the merger where the NFL and AFL became equal partners within the NFL umbrella as the NFC and the AFC. Without that game, maybe the AFL fades away, withers, and dies. But Joe Namath knew the Jets were going to win that game because he had made a deal. Yes, that's right. Joe Namath made a deal with the devil. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, some say the Colts might have thrown the game on purpose. Some say that Earl Morrill might have been paid off. I mean, he missed... Uh, Jimmy Orr wide open in the end zone claims he was lost in the band, but no, 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 it was uh, all be user Bob. And God himself looked down and said, Oh, the Jets won, hey. From that day forward, the Jets were damned. They were God damned. Damned by God himself. As Joe Namath played. With injuries to the rest of his career. And the Jets have become a laughing stock. <laughs> and that tradition continues. Oh, the goddamn Jets. Goddamn Jets.